We're stepping into a world where efficiency is probably seen a little bit higher than even quality. How fast can you get something done? Because it's all about volume right now, but we still want good quality. So this is exactly the goal of this video. With my 15 years of experience as a professional editor and a colorist, I put together these 14 shortcuts that will absolutely, I guarantee you, will make you about 80 to 90% faster inside Resolve. And if you want even a bigger unfair advantage over your competition, I've put together a training that is based on your guys' biggest pain points. It is absolutely free, comes with practice footage so you can put everything that you learn to use. Link is gonna be in the description. I'm also throwing in a bunch of freebies in there. So check it out after you finish watching this video. And if you guys find my content helpful, then it will mean the world to me if you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. For those that don't know me, my name is Kazi. I've worked with brands like Adidas, Amazon Prime, Universal Studios, and I make no just straightforward color grading tutorials so you can work with your dream clients. All right, guys, so now I'm in Resolve and my goal from this tutorial is extremely simple. I genuinely want you to start editing and grading 70 to 80 percent faster than you already are. And most of my viewers are content creators, so this is going to come in handy. The idea will stay the same in our editing page and in our color page, which is if something takes us three to four steps, how can we take that and reduce it to one step? Let's just say if I'm just trying to select where I want this clip to start, and it's like right here. Usually what you would do is you would hit O to create an out point, and then you would want to delete that. So you will hit delete, and it will delete that part. And now it starts where we want it to start. And then you're going to select this, and you're going to hit backspace to cover that space and for it to be starting at frame one. You see one, two, three, three steps that we had to do. Or this can all be done in one step, which is command, shift, left bracket. And just like that, we can do this. And this functionality is called start to playhead. And we can do the same thing on the other end. So let's just say if we want to then end it right here, we can just do command, shift, and then right bracket. And that will be end to playhead. Now imagine doing that to hundreds or thousands of clips. Moving on to our second, one of my favorite features. If you are working in your editor page, you will be constantly zooming in and out. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to take you to DaVinci Resolve keyboard customization. I've mapped these keys. If I go under view and scroll all the way down to zoom, you'll see it says one, two, three. So one for zoom out two for zoom in, and then three for zoom to fit. It won't be like that on your end. You're probably using these complicated keys to do the same thing. It takes your hand away from like where it should be sitting. So I've gone ahead and map one, two, three to this because it's more important than say for me to do multicam editing, which these keys are used for multicam editing. So if there's an overlap, it's not going to be a problem unless you're in a place where there's actually multiple uses in the same place. And then you might run into some issues. But in my case, I never do multicam editing. So it's not a problem for me. So once I've made these changes, I'll just come out. And now my hand is already sitting on the left side. And all I have to do is two, two, two. And that punches in. One punches out. And then three, zoom to fit. I mean, come on. So like I'm doing this all day long. I'm just going like this. Let's just say I want to get real close. Because like if we're here, I don't really know where the starting point is, but I go two, 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 two. That's the starting point. And now I'm going to go, bam, let's start right here. And then I go, I want to take this air out. So I go in, I go out and I just do shift delete. And I just like condense that and I hit three and that zooms to fit. And then this feature comes in handy in our color page too. If I'm in my color page right here and if I just do two, 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 now it's going to zoom in to the viewer. And then I'm going to do one, one, one is going to pull me out. And then if I do three, it zooms to fit. All right. Another super useful one that I use is jumping between all these important pages to me. So I consistently jump between edit, color, Fairlight and deliver. So I've created another custom keys for that. And if I click on four, I'm selecting edit page. If I hit five, I'm selecting color. If I hit six, I'm selecting Fairlight. If I'm hitting seven, I'm selecting deliver. Why didn't I pick Fusion in there? Because I don't use Fusion as much. So now if I'm out, I'm just going five, I'm in color. Four, I'm in editorial. 
Six, I'm in Fairlight. Seven, I'm in Deliver. So I consistently jump between five and seven. Another one that I use that is super, super helpful and everybody knows about it is JKL, Playback. And then it'll tell you the speed. So I hit it twice. So now I'm running at 2x. And then if I hit it again, it's 4x. If I hit it again, it's 8x. But another awesome thing about it, if you're getting pretty close and you just want to go frame by frame, instead of moving your hand from here and going to arrows, you can just keep your hand on JKL, keep pressing or holding K, and then go left by hitting J or L and just go one frame at a time. So then that way you're not moving your hand. Once again, the entire game is we want to cut the amount of steps we're taking. Another one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts to know how long this clip is. How are you going to find out how long this clip is? Usually you'll go here, you'll hit a I, you'll hit a O, and then you'll see, okay, this is 10 seconds long. A better way to do this, just one step, just by hitting X, just go to whichever clip you want to select, go over it, and then hit X, and it'll select that. Hit X, it'll select that. If you want to find out the length of multiple clips, we can select these two and I can hit Shift A. It's telling me the length of these two clips, Shift A. It's extremely important when you're working on reels or something like that and you're trying to shave off every single second. And then if you want to undo this, simple, just Option X. So X will select it, Option X will undo it. Another one that I use all the time is, let's just say if I make an edit, how is it looking going from this clip to that clip. I want to keep playing back around this area to like find out how I feel about this edit right here. So usually you will go hit I, you'll hit O, and then you'll do a loop and you'll do a play and it'll play through. And then like, you know, it'll end here and then it'll play again. So you can see what the hell is going on. Now, all I have to do, just hit a slash and like, watch this. So it's just pre-clipping. So it's giving you two seconds before that playhead point and two seconds after. You can even change that in your preferences. These are my most go-to shortcuts when it comes to the edit page. So let's jump into our color page and let me show you some cool ones. I'm going to hit five and jump over here. And the most important one, let's start off with one of those that I've custom mapped, which is labeling your nodes. So usually you have to right click, you have to go to node label, and then you have to call it CST or IDT, whatever it is that you want to call it. Well, just go under here, go to your keyboard customization, go under search and type in label and just go to label selected nodes. And then that's exactly what I selected, which is my tab button right here. And it was not assigned to anything. So it's perfect in this case. I can just hit it, create a new node, do the same thing, come out of it. Another one, option S for new node, option S for new node. Okay. Like there's nothing more important. There's nothing more useful. Option S, new node. But what if I want to create a node before this one? Shift S, prior node. There's going to be times when we're going to be like, okay, I want to make that change before this thing that I'm trying to do. And that's exactly how you're going to do it. Another super useful keyboard shortcut. Let's just say we're in our gallery. We have a reference that we want to match our grade to. And I can just hit Command W and I can just pull this up. And now I can just click anywhere on the screen and hold it somewhere around here. I can just hit Shift W to cycle through. Like you can see what's happening. I'm cycling through all these different wipe options that I have available here. What if I want to flip it? You can easily do that, Alt W. And then when you cycle through, if you want to flip it, same thing, Option W. If you guys are liking what you're seeing here, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have over 30 plus hours of content in my masterclass that doesn't only teach you the hard skills, but also teaches you how to go out there and get clients to work with companies like these that our students are working with. So over 7,900 students in this masterclass, 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy and you get $100 off if you're still watching this video, special link is in the description. And if you're a content creator who doesn't want to become a full-time colorist, then I have Kazi's toolkit. This will get you results like these Hollywood results in minutes. Our customers are now charging their clients three times more after using Kazi's toolkit. They're working faster and they're getting more clients. You get hundred dollars off when you use this special code. Link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. So let's just say if I want to key these areas out and now I want to see what I'm keying out, Shift H. 
that's only going to show you what you're working on right here. And then you can go ahead and click here so you can just see the key in black and white to make finer adjustments in a case like ours. So we can just spread this. And now it's like really selecting what I want to select. I can go under denoise and denoise it quite a bit, come out of it and now hit shift H again. And I have all of these selected and now I can just go here. And if I want to make some adjustments, make them more red, you know, like make a more like pull the color out of them a little bit, maybe pull the saturation out even more, whatever it is that I want to do, I can just control it and do it that way. And then I can hit shift H to see what I'm working on or see it in black and white what I'm working on. Once you're happy with the grade that you've done, you can just go ahead in your stills and just hit command alt G and that will save that grade. So now if I delete this, I can always just come here, right click and apply that exact grade onto my footage. Another most important one, let's just say if we have made these changes to our image, we brought it up, we brought this down, whatever it is that we did, if we wanna see before and after, just option D, turn your node on and off. If you have multiple changes on multiple nodes, command D is gonna turn off that exact node you're on, or you can do shift D to bypass the entire grade. This bypasses everything. This means the whole thing is in effect. These are the changes you're looking at. This means we're bypassing everything. It even spells it out, bypass. One of the most important ones is command alt tilde. That turns on your printer light hotkeys. Just by doing that, we activate our printer lights. So let's just say in this shot, I wanna add more magenta, I can just go here. And obviously you're gonna be using your numpad, but if we wanna add magenta, we can just hit two. Let's just say if I just keep going and keep doing that, you can see now before and after, we just kept adding magenta. So if there's an image that where there is just a clear color cast and you wanna pull that out, you can easily do that. So let's just say in this image, if I'm just going, it's a bit too warm, but it's just more, a little bit more on the green side. I'm seeing it right here, right? We want to pull that green by adding magenta. So again, I can just go in there and I can start adding magenta. And if I do before and after right here, we just pull that out so realistically. And okay, let's subtract a few magentas. And if I do before where it was just kind of feeling yellowish green, now it's looking a lot more pleasant to the eye overall. And I was able to fix that balance just with a few strokes. And that all happened by activating our printer lights. I saved the best for last because this is an ultimate game changer. I don't do anything without this one keystroke and I've customized it. So if you go under keyboard customization and just click right here and type in ripple note changes to selected clips, I've gone ahead and called it shift R. So let's just say all these first nodes are different. So let's just say in this one, it's like this and this one is like that. And it's this one is like this. And this one is like that. I'm just obviously being extremely crazy with all of this. But then in this shot, I go to the second node and I go here. What I want to do is I want to just basically add more contrast like that. And now I want to apply this to everything. I can just select all these other clips and I can just do shift R and just look what happens. It left the first node as is, and on the second node, it added that contrast on all of these clips. I mean, how amazing is that? If you have crazy complex node trees with anywhere from 12 to 30 nodes, and you're working on something like that, and you wanna, the client gives you feedback, hey dude, go easy on the contrast, and now you have like these 300 shots. Let's just say you have like 60 shots in one scene, and you wanna just go and change that. You can just go to that node where you created contrast, lift off a little bit, grab those 60 clips and just do shift R, boom, in one shot. Between custom mapping and what already exists in Resolve, if you memorize and learn all of these shortcuts, you will guaranteed be working 80% faster, if not more, inside Resolve. So there you have it. Let me know which of these you found most helpful. Is there anything that I forgot to mention? If you have any content suggestions, drop them all down below. Do not forget to check out the special links in the description. That said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace fam.